I'm delighted to say I'm joined once again by the junior doctor, Katie Rogerson. Thank you very much Hello. for coming in. Well, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's a big wow for us as well, but we're obviously completely deli delighted um, and still in shock, I think. Let's remind everyone of that moment you guys found out yes. what had happened. Let's have a look. The UK's official Christmas number one 2015 is the Lewisham... <laughs> It made my Christmas hearing that cheer. You weren't there, but you were listening on a yeah, radio. I was, I was up in Yorkshire and I, was, I had the news from um, Greg James on Radio 1, so I had my own um, huge reaction um, for, a, for a sort of grumbling Yorkshire lass. <laughs> and um, it was really heartening to see those guys because obviously they've all worked really hard. And it, yeah, How much do you think Justin Bieber himself helped you to get there? Because he wanted his fans to, to get your single. He was uh, an absolute gent and it was obviously a lovely Christmassy twist mm. um we were actually pretty much head to head maybe with us you know taking a step ahead of him at that point but you know he's put us on, a, on an international forum and he's put the nhs internationally top of the agenda so he's done us a big lovely christmasy favor so what was um, it like hello to, Justin, um, thank you yeah say hello to him because he he tweeted you guys he did what's it did. like to get tweeted congratulations by arguably the biggest pop star in the world hey it's not bad <laughs> <laughs> um it was great and um it was just in the spirit of everything which was brilliant right okay in the spirit of christmas and mm -hmm. giving and festivities mm -hmm. you now need some help from george osborne you want him to give you back the vat so you can put that money towards the money you've already raised we do because it makes sense to give everything that we can to the charities that we're supporting the mental health charities and um, carers uk and they need every every last penny so hopefully he'll step up and support and us have in you, that have you been given the nod and the wink that that is gonna happen we've not we're very hopeful let's put it like that OK, you must come back and tell us about that. Now, back to reality. This mm -hmm. was all about raising money for, yeah. as you say, Mind UK and, and Carers yes. UK, but also raising awareness about the work yes, that absolutely. the NHS does. Yeah. And obviously, we've just found out in the past few hours that junior doctors are going to go back on strike. There's yeah. been so much public support for this campaign. Do you think they'll support the strike in the same way now that there's obviously this strength of feeling behind the NHS in general. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously incredibly disappointing. I don't, I can't speak on behalf of the BMA. I can't speak on behalf of junior doctors as no, a whole. Sure. And I can't speak on behalf of the choir or the campaign. But I can say this, I, I don't think they'll, everyone is going to feel disappointed. It's not just patients and NHS supporters, it's junior doctors as well. This is not how we wanted it to go. This is an absolute last last resort really it's with a heavy heart that will will step forward into industrial action and um i really hope that the general public are going to be able to get behind us to recognize that this is very much about safeguarding robust safeguarding and it's not just about a fair contract for doctors it's actually very much even more so about a safe and sure. sustainable nhs for for patients so okay. i hope that they they can understand our reasons and it's not taken lighthearted. Okay. We'll absolutely make sure that we have time. I'm going to have to uh, bring this to an Keep end, talking. I'm afraid. But thank you very much for coming in <laughs> and talking you. to us, Katie Rogerson. Thank you once again.